Okay, Joey, your package arrived, so we're gonna get you opened up here and have a look at what you have sent. Jumbo, jumbo. Let's take a closer look. Beautiful. Very nice. This is a clean, clean one. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's look. All right. So, this is a. Wow, cool. This is a horseshoe back 61380011. Um, JDM. It's from. September of 76. It is, oh, yeah, it's the horseshoe, but from 76. That's kind of neat. Um, really nice. So definitely JDM. No, um, no loom, dial, or hands, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, very cool. Crystal looks nice. Case is in very good shape. It's got its age, but not, not beaten for sure. Good pushers, correct, a good crown. You can see where, so this is, this is where my trying to advise people always gets, um, gets put into, into this discussion here. So you see your hand has lost some of its paint on the end. And what that's from is when people reset the, the, the chronograph, if the hand is close and the chronograph is far uh, to vertical, then what can happen is this will flex. And it'll flex up and down sort of like this as it comes around and it will strike the minute hand. And so what I always advise people to do is, yeah, run your chronograph, that's fine, but if you're going to reset it, set it somewhere between 11 and five so that it doesn't um, both destroy the chronograph wheel, which is a bit sensitive, uh, and also so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't hit that hand. So, regardless, <laughs> Um, we can always touch that up, that's not a problem if you want to do that. Um, but the, the lack of loom paint looks really good. The dial is really clean. I can see one little tiny imperfection here, a scratch just below your speed timer. Looks like a little bit of a shiny spot right on the, right on the dial. I'm not sure if you can make that out. But it's it's definitely got a very slight mar to the matte finish. It's a little hard to see, but it's a it's small, but it's there. Um, got a little lint underneath of your crystal. Overall, pretty clean. Now what's nice is I don't have to take the back off the watch in order to get some power in. Um, you know, we can check and see how it's running. Wind it up until we feel comfortable that it's it's doing its thing. So yeah, so this is sort of the reset style that I like somewhere right in here. Let's check um, let's check all the functions that we can check with the with the stem and crown. All right, 
Let's go around. Get to around here. Is that in focus at all? Sorry about that. All right, there we go. So it looks like it did what it was supposed to do. All right, now. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks good. All right, so that's nice to see. Um, let's, let's go ahead, now that we've got some power in the movement, let's go ahead and put it on time grapher and see how it's doing. We'll be right back. Okay, well, certainly not ideal. Uh, <laughs> It's really far out of adjustment and it is losing amplitude very, very rapidly. Um, yeah, these numbers are, are not ideal. Um, you know, this is about 100 degrees of rotational amplitude off, so your, your balance is swinging back and forth and this is the amount of swing uh, in degrees. Uh, that should be, you know, well above uh, 220 for sure. These are adjustments. Uh, it's gaining a bunch of time. It's way out of beat. Um, it, it, you know, it needs a service. Uh, with a fully wound mainspring, uh, whoa, it just took a nosedive. Okay, so that, that's definitely not great. Oh my. Um, <laughs> whoa, I don't know what just happened, but it just found itself a new state to live in. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, so not the best. Uh, definitely, definitely needs some help. Um, but, you know, that's what we're here to do. Give it help. All right, let's come back. Okay, well, it, uh, it's a watch that uh, needs attention. It certainly is here for service and that's what it, it's gonna get. Um, I will send you this video. You know, I, you have to tell me what you want to do. I think the crystal is probably fine. I think cosmetically there's not much to do. If you want a touch up on the end of your hand, I can do that. Um, I can match it pretty well um, to the point where you won't notice it. it. It's really not, to me, something that you need to do if you're okay with that. It kind of keeps the originality. Um, I would certainly um, change the way I use the watch if it were mine so that I would never really reset the, the second hand or the sweep hand outside of the 11 to 1 uh, range but you know that's that's sort of your call uh, it will help eliminate this problem of, uh, of that um, you know paint loss um, all these painted hands uh, can, are susceptible to that so great looking watch uh, needs some Need some help in the service department, but that's uh, that's what we're gonna try and do. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for sending it in, and uh, we'll be in touch, and um, we'll move forward. All right, thanks for watching.